According to Merkel Press Ecuador's president, Daniel Noboa, announced his government's acceptance of military support from Argentina, the United States, and more than 38 other nations in response to the ongoing crisis in the country. This crisis was sparked by the recent prison escape of Adolfo Macias, known as Fido, the leader of the Los Caneros gang. Fido's escape resulted in a significant surge in crime and violence, leading to 15 deaths, numerous injuries, and the taking of 178 corrections officers as hostages by inmates. President Noboa stressed the importance of cooperation and emphasized that this was not the time for egos or vanity to impede assistance. He highlighted the urgent need for military support, encompassing manpower, soldiers, intelligence, artillery, and equipment. Argentina's security minister, Patricia Bullrich, underscored the regional implications of the situation, noting that events in Ecuador, Colombia, Peru, and Bolivia have implications for Argentina's security. She emphasized the importance of collective defense in response to transnational criminal organizations. In addressing the crisis, President Noboa declared an internal armed conflict and issued orders for the armed forces to combat criminal gangs. United States government officials are expected to visit Quito in the coming weeks to discuss strategies for addressing the threat posed by transnational criminal organizations. The U.S. State Department expressed its commitment to close cooperation with Ecuador in combating criminal organizations. They pledged to work with President Noboa to enhance law enforcement cooperation through U.S. security assistance programs. In addition to military cooperation, Ecuador and the United States have recently agreed to exchange Soviet-era weapons for modern equipment. President Noboa disclosed this agreement during an interview with Canela Radio. During the interview, President Noboa revealed that Ecuador and the United States had reached an agreement to exchange what he referred to as scrap Soviet weapons, valued at approximately $200 million, for advanced military equipment. This exchange is expected to conclude by the end of January this year. The president did not provide specific details regarding the weapons to be transferred or the purpose behind the United States acquiring them. However, he emphasized that this exchange was just one aspect of the assistance that the United States would provide to Ecuador. President Noboa mentioned a recent meeting with American Ambassador Michael Fitzpatrick, who indicated that the United States would present a separate aid package to Ecuador in the near future. Ecuador's current military inventory includes a variety of Soviet-made weapons and systems, such as RPG-7 grenade launchers, AGS-17 automatic grenade launchers, and 18BM-21 Grad multiple launch rocket systems, MLRS, for rocket artillery. The country also possesses a collection of Soviet anti-aircraft weapons, including 14.5mm 128 ZPU-1 and ZPU-2 anti-aircraft machine guns, several 9K-32 Strela-2 manpads, and 9K-38 IGLA missile systems. The air defense capabilities of Ecuador include 10 9K-33 OSA surface-to-air missile SAM, systems acquired from Ukraine, along with 34 ZU-23 anti-aircraft guns and several 9K-310 IGLA-1 manpads. Additionally, the country operates 6 Mi-17-1V helicopters and 2 Mi-171E helicopters.